Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews, where I give you my point of view as a technician. Now, over the years, I've seen the question over and over again, and that is, which is the best floor tool? Now, I've got a very conclusive video that I did. It's in 1080p, but it's still, you can see very well, pretty much all the common floor tools side by side. I do weight and all, all those technical details. But today we're gonna to focus on one floor tool, and that floor tool was kind of the winner of that test, and it's also a floor tool I've been using in my house for some time. If this video is helpful to you in any way today, please give this video a big thumbs up. That helps us out a lot, and consider a subscription. And of course, I'll have links to this floor tool in the description as well. So this floor tool is my favorite type of floor tool for a variety of reasons. But if you clicked on this video, it's because this is the problem you're having. And these two floor tools I have, they're, uh, they're found on numerous vacuums, whether it's the central vacuum, they're found on Mila's, they're found on Henry's. You can find these floor tools on so many different vacuums out there. And this is a recurring problem is that there'll be cuts to allow hair and debris in, but ultimately stuff gets caught in this hair like so. Now this is a great exaggeration, of course, of what you would see, but I wanted to prove the point. So this is one of two of these floor tools that I have owned for some time. And I'll explain the difference between the two different models and why you probably end up with this one. Um, this has a nice bumper on it, soft rubber wheels, and rubber wheels under here. Now when we go to the bottom side, that's where the magic happens, and you can see there's nothing really for the hair to get caught on because there's a squeegee. And that squeegee just glides above your floor just enough to maintain airflow and suction, but it's big enough that it allows most pet hair and larger debris to flow into this floor tool. Um, the edge cleaning on this tool is excellent as well. You can see the wheel acts as a uh, guide for air to come through and debris to come through there. So that makes edge cleaning very good. It's also extremely low when we compare it to some of the traditional floor tools on the market. So I really like that as well. Now, this one here that looks kind of beat up and not as nice, uh, this has been on shop duty for the past year and a half, but I've had this one for like three or four years. Uh, I really like it, but it's got hard plastic wheels. So if you have delicate wood floor like I do, um, it might be something that, that could possibly hurt the floor that hasn't been my experience but it's a possibility so uh, this will work germany and if you're not familiar this will work makes a lot of genuine attachments for a variety of high-end companies um, and you can see that these have much softer rubber wheels on it so this is not going to hurt your floor in any sort of way so that's why i recommend this one over the other one um, for most people now this floor tool i put it on a variety of vacuums uh, ranging from anything like a cheap uh, Dyson to you know my high-end central vacuum and I found that it works with just about everything uh, it, the fitting on here of course will not work with just about everything uh, the fittings an inch and a quarter which is the most common fitting but if you have something again like a Dyson that has a smaller fitting because it has less power than a normal vacuum or if you have something bigger like a Mila that to accommodate more airflow you might need to get an adapter and I'll put links to the adapters to this below. I have the standard pickup test that I've been using to test all sorts of vacuums over the years to show you kind of what, what, what it's going to do in your house. And I found this to be one of the more realistic things to test expectations. So what I have here is I have flour, cat litter, breakfast cereal, and then some fresh dog hair in the front here. And we're going to see how a traditional brush nozzle does versus this double squeegee design from Bissell Work.
see both pretty much got the job done. The traditional floor tool did struggle with hair getting stuck to this brush and with the larger debris here where you can see that the double squeegee picked everything up really effortlessly and you can see the stuff goes in there a lot faster on video as well and really nothing gets stuck here there are some lint pickers on this nozzle that stuff can get stuck to but I find it clears itself over time so I don't need to go through and vacuum the bottom of this uh, quite like I do with the traditional floor tool and this is a big problem solver for a lot of people with pets who have hair everywhere and have to stop and vacuum their vacuum every room you don't have to do that with this floor tool uh, this floor tool really is I think the best one that's on the market right now I've used again just about everything out there this works way better than any of the fluffy brush tools or like the shark zero M. that thing doesn't work really hardly at all this floor tool really works good and again it's my favorite floor tool that's on the market right now So one of the biggest advantages of this floor tool is you can go from hardwood floor to an airy rug or carpet without any adjustment. So when we take a look at this, you saw I just vacuumed all that no problem. Uh, they went through the pet hair, the flower, the breakfast cereal, the cat litter that was down there. And again, you can see there's nothing really stuck in here. So you can see the versatility of this, of just being able to do the majority of your house with this tool and not having to switch back and forth. Now, if you're like me and you have soft pile carpet or even any wall to wall carpet, generally you do want to use your electric nozzle. But if you just wanted to do a quick pickup, you have this on the end of your hose. Yeah, we'll do that too. Again, I would highly recommend an electric brush, but in a pinch, you can use this attachment. Um, and this is, again, you can see where some hair will get stuck to the limp pickers here. But if I'm now I know not all vacuums are the same and not everybody uses the same fitting. You know, our Henry, this will snap right on there. Same with some of the older and newer Eurekas. Um, things like a central vacuum, of course, that all uses the same inch and a quarter fitting. Again, that will snap right on there. Things like your Electrolux or your TriStar may have even come with an adapter for you. Again, these will snap right on there. So again, these are out there. Now, if you have a Mila, again, you'll need to get an adapter. This won't be included with the Mila. There's both a plastic and a metal variant of this adapter. This adapter goes on there. And now we can use our Mila wand with this tool. Now, the downside to doing this with something like a Mila is then you lose your parking space. So do keep in mind, they don't currently offer one with the parking spot. Just to show that this will work on a Mila or something else, not just a central mat. Problem on the end of my Mila. No problem. Small disclaimer here. I go to the Vacuum Dealers Trade Association show every year, and uh, last year they were giving these out at their booth, and that's where I acquired this one. Um, but they have not paid me for my endorsement or anything like that. And like I said, uh, prior I had bought another version years ago. So just for that, I wanted to disclose my relationship with Vessel Work uh, to you guys on YouTube. Well, folks, I hope this has helped you find a new floor tool for your machine, whether you have a central vac, a Mila, 
cordless Henry, a Dyson, and God help you if you have a shark, throw that thing away. Um, so there's going to be links in the description to both of these floor nozzles that you saw in this video, along with the adapters. So please give this video a like. And again, if you want to see the latest vacuum stuff, hit that subscribe button and have yourself a wonderful day.